excited to see Arika Nomba, how she would play against Ateneo. And of course, Ateneo being the defending champions, how they will defend. This, uh, this was the block that Mika Reyes had that was all over the internet and social media. They made the adjustments and they uh, dispatched a very game, a very gritty and yeah. uh, a, a great FUT in three sets. And that girl, in the middle of it all, in everything, the game, the trash talking, <laughs> and all of that, she is going into her final appearance in the finals. It's nostalgic for her, so let's listen to what she has to say with Janine Choi. So Mika, what is different about the DLSU team now compared to the DLSU team that entered the finals two years ago? For me, siguro different composition of players. Basically, uh, ngayon siguro mas mga contribute lahat, mga katulong sa game. And during the elimination round, alam naman natin na during the first round kayo yung nanalo, tapos during the second round, ata niyo naman nanalo. What is the mindset of the team, especially because you split the elimination round? Uh, Siyempre, andun pa rin yung bawi, ganyan. Pero siguro ngayon kasi back to zero. Walang may advantage na yung finals. And then, kasi compared to the past two seasons, may sweep, di ba? So ngayon back to zero, ngayon din yung magkakaalaman. Good luck sa game niya mamaya. Back to you, Boom and Ia. Sinabi ni Mika, hindi daw siya mapayag ang her final year na hindi sila makapasok mandat sa finals. They were determined to get in the They did just that. It's going to be very important. When you say she's in the middle of this, we need that get her in the end. They were so crucial to this game. 10 points against that was against FU 10 in game 2. And of course, she is number 9 to the scoring game. It doesn't matter. 125 points and number 2 in block. That's an important stat.
perspective with you. of this final part of the puzzle. Points today, as we said, her mom very happy. Uh, she ties her 